so here's the log I've been milling. Uh, I didn't get it finished. Uh, it's actually all the way through in some parts, but the saw kept slipping inside of the clamp, and I didn't want to wreck my chain, so I stopped to weld on a second clamp. Alright, so I don't know if you guys could see in toward the end of that video when I was milling the saw, the bar kept slipping inside of this clamp. Now, I have taken the regular end off of it and welded a piece of flat stock on the end hoping that would cure it, but it didn't. It still slipped a lot. So now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a second clamp on here. So I welded a piece of flat or uh, square tube stock onto another clamp uh, just to separate the two clamps a little bit and then I'm going to weld that onto my all thread where my other clamp is. Hopefully the two points of contact having the two clamps on there will make uh, a lot of difference so the bar doesn't slip anymore. Um, it did slip and catch the chain I think it was right there um, flattened all my teeth out so I had to stop and resharpen them and uh, I went back to milling and the socks kept slipping again I didn't want to hit hit the chain on the clamp and have to resharpen it again so I figured to stop now while I'm, while I'm ahead and uh, get another clamp welded on there alright so I've got the side of the bar sock flattened out so I'll be able to get the uh, square tube welded on. Uh, I didn't flatten it quite far enough up here, so I'm just going to take the grinder and flatten this out a little bit. You can see it kind of tapers out a little bit. Alright, that looks a little bit better. Now, before I get it mounted, because I want the two ends to line up the same, I'm going to grind this clean and weld a piece of flat stock on the end, just to give me clearance from my bar. Get all the uh, protective coating off of there. Get my flat stock. Just going to uh, weld that right on there. This is actually two pieces of this. 
just welds together to give me a little bit thicker. So we'll get this welded on here and then uh, start lining, lining it up onto that one. Alright, so we can get this welded on here. Now it might be kind of hard to get a clamp on there to hold that since this back is rounded. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to close the clamp right on the piece of flat sock to hold it where I want it. Going to get it centered there. Once we get it welded on, we'll take the grinder and clean up everything so the edges are more square like this one. Just looks a little, little bit better. Looks pretty good. Tighten the clamp down, hold it in place, and I'll just weld all there on the edge. Got a connection. There we go. Alright. I think I'm going to put some gloves on. <laughs> That's always a good idea when you're welding, right? Alright. Alright, we'll get that cleaned up with the grinder, see if there's any uh, holes in our welds that need to be filled back in. Open the clamp up here. Be able to get the grinder in there and smooth everything out. So nice, got a nice smooth contact patch with the chainsaw bar so it won't mar it up or scratch it too deep. Of course you're going to lose some paint off your bar when you start clamping stuff to it, but it's just the chainsaw bar, right? There's a hole there in the corner where I didn't get a bead, and then on that corner also. So I'm just gonna weld a little bit more, clean it up again, and should be good from there. face right here. Sorry about the dog in the background. Joys of having huskies. They bark a lot. Alright. I got that squared up pretty good. See there's one void in the weld right there, but no big deal. Got the face cleaned up. So now I'm just gonna weld the two clamps together, get them lined up. 
hopefully we'll be able to get them lined up relatively close. Get a clamp down there. Alright, so I think I'm going to trim the end off of this square stock. It just sticks out past there. There's no need for it. So I'll take my sawzall and cut the end of it off here. Alright, so we got the end of that cut off. Now it's not sticking out too far. Now, see if we can get it lined up with this other clamp. On our jig here. And weld it up. I think to get it lined up, I'm going to clamp something in the end of this one. this one on there clamp it on there also and that should get me parallel at least I would think you want them pretty close to parallel because otherwise when you clamp it on your chainsaw bar it might like with one clamp hits here and one is sticking out it might tweak your chainsaw bar when you tighten it up so I think as close to parallel as you can get them the better Like that, they're both clamped on there. So they should be parallel, right? Alright, so it looks like this one piece of all thread here might not be enough to mount it. Because if I slide it back far enough where it lines up, it's sticking off the back of the all thread. And I'd like them to be as close to each other, lined up vertically and horizontally as possible. So what I think I'm going to do is just take another piece of all thread, cut it to length, weld it in there, flatten it out like this one, and that'll give me a, a wider base to mount this other clamp on. Alright, got a piece of all thread cut here to go on the back. I'm just going to take my grinder and clean up this little weld right here so it'll lay nice. And then uh, weld on the top and the bottom of this one, get it set in. I don't know if you guys can hear the wind in the background or not, but that's the uh, snowstorm blowing in. going to bring us six inches of snow. Yay! Alright, that's good enough for me. I'll be able to lay a thick bead of weld between the two of them. Flip it over and get one on the back. Get this clamped into place here. Hopefully, since it's around, it might be a little bit difficult. But yeah, it's going to roll on me. Alright, well, we'll try to hold it there and tack it into place with a weld. Alright, and remember when you're welding all thread, you gotta get real hot because uh, the threads on the end will melt really fast and you might think you got it solid, but you need to make sure you weld hot so you get part of the core of that all thread melted in with your weld. Alright, let's get this tacked on here. That's tacked on. Now I'll throw on my mask and get a nice solid bead going across there. Make sure I'm in frame for you guys. Not like you'll be able to see much anyway.
Everything looks good so far. Move my clamp out the end down here. And finish the weld. Why the end of that rod is just glowing red. <laughs> I think we had enough heat on there. I think those two pieces of all thread are going to be bonded, bonded together pretty well. You can see that. It's just glowing. <laughs> Get all the slag off so you can check your weld over. Make sure you got a nice solid bead the whole length. Bring you guys in here so you can see the weld. I don't know if it'll focus. I guess it's not going to focus for me. There's smoke coming off of it because it's still so hot, so I don't know if that's why it won't focus or if it's just focusing on the threads and not the weld. I don't know. Alright, so now we'll get the top of this one ground down so it's flat so we can weld our uh, square tube and clamp onto the top of that. Alright, so here's kind of what I got mocked up. Have, be able to get a bead on the back and one on the inside you can see between the two clamps right in there get a bead in there one on the back I put this between the two to simulate a chainsaw bar try to get them lined up this way so I'll be able to center it decently in, in my bar Time for some more welding, I think. And then I think we're pretty close to done modifying it. And it's dark outside right now, so I can't even test it out before the snow comes. But hopefully by next week it'll be melted off and maybe I'll be able to get the sides milled off that log finally. I want to cut some stair treads out of it. So, I've covered it in a tarp, since we're going to get snow, I hope it'll stay dry-ish. It won't rot or nothing, we'll get it milled up, and uh, I'll probably do a video on replacing stair treads, because I'm going to be replacing some older ones, they're about 25 years old, so if you guys want to see a video on replacing stair treads with home milled lumber, let me know and when we get to that project I'll definitely film it. See here? Yep, we got a connection. Alright. Well they don't want to feed. It's one of the joys of having a uh, 15 year old welder. It doesn't always work when you pull the trigger. Time to open it up, open it up, and see what's going on. Kind of dim over here. I don't know if you guys will be able to see. Let's see. There we go. Yeah, it's kind of dim. I don't think you'll be able to see what's going on. So I'll get the welder fixed up and come back to the project. All right, get the welder figured out, put back together. So now let's try to weld here. All right, we got a connection. There we go. Yeah, the little clamp's getting in the way. I think that'll hold us. I'll go ahead and take the clamp off now, so I can finish running my weld down the length of it. Should be able to see pretty good like that, I think. Yeah. Alright, 
I think that's a pretty solid weld there. Now if we'll be able to get one on the inside here. We can open these up. Alright, got the clamps opened up. And right there is where we're going to be laying the bead of weld. So get that laid down. Weld it up. And that's about it, I think. And we'll have to wait. Wait for uh, decent weather before we actually get to test it out. That looks pretty good. I think that'll probably hold. Uh, let's see what we got here. Nice beads there. Nice beads on the back. A bit warm yet. <laughs> melting my leather gloves or burning them. I guess you don't melt leather, right? All right, so. I guess that's version 2.0. Alright, so here is the finished jig with the extra clamp added on it. I left this on the second clamp just because it is the second clamp and hopefully it will be sturdy enough without removing it. Otherwise I'll have to do the same thing as I did with this one. Um, if you're going to make a jig like this, I suggest when you make it, go ahead and start out by putting two clamps on it that way you won't have to backtrack like I did and you'll be able to space them the way you want it and I also ended up having to use two different size clamps because I only had one of the smaller ones the original one I made on here so I just used a different clamp that I had laying around and see how it cuts hopefully it stays stable on the bar and doesn't slide around You can see the mark from where the one clamp was on there, how it was sliding around. Uh, hopefully with the two of them, it won't slide no more. So thanks for watching. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys on the next video.